What are your expectations for the Saudi Aramco IPO yet to really come to market, of course, that happens tomorrow. How well received do you think it's going to be? Uh, good morning. Uh, so far, it, it's done very well in the Saudi market. And hopefully, when, the, uh, the, when it opens tomorrow, we'll be even doing better. I think uh, there is much to go for for Aramco, not only in terms of, of its uh, very professional uh, leadership and, and work ethic, but also because it is uh, an evolving uh, company that is acquiring not only skills and know-how, but also markets and uh, job opportunities for Saudis. So it's a very, very dynamic and very a stable uh, enterprise that deserves to be invested in. Prince Turkey, Matt Miller here in Frankfurt. Uh, everything has seemed um, to have gone to plan in terms of the Aramco IPO. Although it is a fairly, a relatively local offering, what is Saudi Arabia prepared to do in order to um, in order to bring in more foreign investment to the world's biggest oil company? Well, this is what we're going to see tomorrow uh, when it is open for investors from from everywhere. And I think this is uh, where Saudi Arabia has been going for the past few years, is that we're opening up to the world, we're inviting people to come in and, and look at us and see us for ourselves. Uh, two things, not only for Aramco, but for the Saudi government, uh, that are very important in my view, is that uh, transparency and accountability. And these are part and parcel of King Salman and Prince Mohammed bin Salman's Vision 2030. And as you see from announcements coming on the budget as well, uh, there is equal transparency and accountability. Can I ask you about geopolitical tensions in the region, P Prince Turkey? Just uh, in the spring of this year, back in May, there were fears that we were going to see the region headed for more direct conflict. There'd been attacks on tankers, attacks on, uh, on Aramco, of course. Why do you think we have not seen a continuation of that violence? The kingdom is not a seeker of troubles. It is a peacemaker. And I'll just remind you that uh, the kingdom was the instrumental, for example, in ending the war between Eritrea and Ethiopia a couple of years back, and uh, between Eritrea and Djibouti. And this is how we try to operate in our part of the world. We try to bring peace rather than conflict. Others will try otherwise, but we will not be responsive to their provocations, and we will pursue our policies with our friends, not just in the West, but also in our region here, uh, that peace is our primary objective. Will you uh, work with Qatar in order to achieve peace in the region? They recently have said um, there are positive signs that the crisis with Saudi Arabia will be resolved. Will Saudi Arabia reciprocate and, and, and work towards a solution there? I'm not in government to be able to give you any uh, indication of where the official engagement between Saudi Arabia and Qatar is. But the, the initiative for uh, bringing uh, the Qatar dispute to, to an end is, uh, has been Saudi Arabia's. And we're the ones who are pushing for Qatar to come back to the fold, as it were, and be a very constructive member of the GCC. And uh, the recent uh, Gulf Cup uh, engagement with Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, and Bahrain, which were the boycotting countries of Qatar, was uh, the, the sign that uh, these three countries are willing to engage with Qatar in uh, bringing her back to our fold. Uh, I think the summit uh, today in, in, uh, in Riyadh hopefully will have something uh, to do with that. Uh, I'm not privy to, to the engagements, but I think uh, the signs are that something hopefully will come out of there. And on that front, will it be a disappointment if the Emir of Qatar is not at that uh, Gulf meeting and only the Prime Minister of Qatar? Who needs to be at the table, Prince uh, Turkey? Well, the invitation went to the Prince of, of Qatar, and, and so uh, 
Uh, if he declines to come, I personally will be disappointed, uh, but uh, I think uh, business will go on. And it is uh, something that is, uh, was the case last year when we had the GCC conference as well. Uh, we had several conferences in Ramadan, uh, the uh, OIC, the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, the Arab League, and the GCC, uh, where the Emir of Qatar did not attend. Uh, but business went on, so uh, it is not going to affect that one way or the other. Okay, we just we just uh, see Prince Turkey that the Qatari Prime Minister is to lead the delegation to Riyadh. Uh, that just flashed across the Bloomberg terminal. Just as you were saying, you would be disappointed if the prince does not come. I I guess that 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 is your reaction then. That's my personal reaction. <laughs>